So I found that the, the children, when they born, they are um, actually in accordance with this law of harmony. They are fully um, natural, they are fully happy, and they are in harmony with their environment. And when the balance is going off, maybe they are wet or they are um, hungry, so this balance uh, is far from them, then they, when they get it back, then they have the harmony, and they are in harmony and peace with everyone around them. But I want to say and make it brief, this is the role of the women that through their education and their development that they are creating the adults and then they become uh, someone that they are ready to kill others, even they kill themselves. This is the role of the mother and from the very babyhood, the mothers Think about it. The mothers, they give their own religion, which actually, most of the mothers, most of us, we don't study our own religion and belief. We get it through the generation, we get it, really, we inherit it from our parents without any questioning, and then we just uh, uh, give it to our children through the milk that they are feeding, we are feeding them, through the words that we are, the first words that we are using for our children, through the names that we are giving to the children. So we make them religious people. And these innocent ones, from the birth, they get a um, tag, they get a, a, a religion, and that is what it brings the differences that uh, we see and witness today. I'm very happy that uh, we, my Iranians, that we migrated, we got this gift that we see other people, other human beings. We see uh, and mix with others, we respect others, though their religion is different. I'm very, I observe it and it is very evident within our Iranian community that we are more knowledgeable, tolerable, and amiable. We are giving, um, we see around this uh, panel today in this big festival with the Chinese artists, with, uh, um, uh, with the Americans, with, uh, we see the dance of Afghans, we see the dance of Tajiks. And this is humanity. This is what it is within us, that cosmic ethics. And Zarathustra's um, biggest discovery is that he found this order, this order that I'm going to talk, not this order, uh, that exists everywhere. So the good, he, he is not a prophet, he didn't, he didn't uh, bring a religion, and his Mazda or mass intelligence um, is not God, it is mass intelligence. So the whole creation is based on mass intelligence, as he uh, just introduced through his songs to us. But Zarathustra says, good or bad, it is not what I order, or the gods, it is God's order of commandment. Good is whatever we have this uh, harmony and justice and uh, balance and happiness in the whole world, including us. This is good if we distract this balance, harmony, uh, happiness, peace, that is bad. And you will be rewarded by happiness, inner happiness, if you create balance and harmony. Actually, here we see clearly there is a law of cause and effect. We, if we create happiness for others, we will achieve and we will receive happiness. And this is what I want to say, it is the hand of women, because our menti and spandar menti, which we call it span, it was the celebration month to celebrate the life of mothers, which Iranian they believe mothers are the creators of happiness and peace. So I just congratulate to all the women who create happiness and peace. <laughs> is uh, is that a show
or Zaftosh was a prophet and uh, brought a religion or not? No. Zarathustra, as we know, it has uh, only 17 songs, and in these songs, like any poem, they, he calls himself uh, his name, and he is a human being who discovered the first discovery is this Asha and the order of, of cosmos. And he is not a prophet, he doesn't have any commandments. You have to use your brain, and through the development, you will reach. Uh, uh, knowledge and wisdom, you are responsible for your life because you make the decision. And it is not a profit at all. It is the biggest uh, the biggest mistake of the history. The question was, what kinds of programs do we specifically uh, like to see to help at-risk youth? And I would say a number of things were, were touched on today. A number of um, ways to really expand learning in children is to actually bring in art projects, bring in um, dance or cultural kinds of um, programs that allow children to do you know, things from their cultural background to understand that better. Um, again, I mentioned hands-on, experiential type learning and experiences, field trips as well. Um, those that can help the children learn that's more Sometimes it, it means that we buy software and hardware that also enhances learning in, with different instructions, but a lot of it is hands-on, a lot of what you heard today expressed by a number of the panelists. 